Good morning, Jeffrey Friedman, Senior Commodity Broker, RGO Futures, with morning comments on stock index futures. Well, it was a doozy. The perfect storm is brewing. What, do I, what am I talking about? Last night and yesterday's comment, I referred to China slowing down. Well, their manufacturer uh, index was contracted, probably the worst in four or five months. That sent all the markets overnight lower. When I say all the markets, I'm talking about stock indexes throughout the world. Um, also in Europe, manufacturer index, contraction, another disappointment. Is the perfect storm brewing? Then we come into, remember, our, our manufacturer report in the United States was disappointing and started to make the stock markets kind of uh, sell off late yesterday as well. So manufacturing is bad globally and we go into non-farm payroll, our monthly report, which is our biggest monthly report for employment. And what, lo and behold, they're looking for 130, 150, great estimates, maybe 165. What do we get? We can't even get 190 in the private sector. We very disappointing. We came in the market with the S&P June contract down about 10 to 15, and we shot down probably uh, another 10 to tw uh, 15 points. That puts us around 1285. Remember yesterday I was saying 90 is support. Some technicians are talking about in the June contract, S&P, maybe 85 or 83. A close under 82, I can tell you right now, and that would be very, very negative on the charts. And the bears, obviously, I said yesterday, are in command of this market to the downside. But at this point of the game, remember, 1st of May, we were up 12%. We're unchanged for the year in the Dow Jones. May represents the worst month in three years in any month for the stock market in the United States. So keeping that in mind, it's probably getting to the point of overdone. Do we want to catch a falling knife? You should be calling me, Jeff Friedman, at 800-826-4124. And we can talk about where to get in. Is it really oversold? How long can it go down? Should we be playing the trend? Or should we do an, uh, a uh, counter trend by buying. Should we be using options? Should we sell premium? Should we buy premium? Those are the kind of questions you want to talk to me about. Please give me a call. And remember always, remember always, trading futures or option to futures involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors or really you have to make that decision yourself. Please give me a call.